presentation. Oh, thank you. So, greetings, everyone. Today, I'm going to start my presentation, and the topic for my presentation is avionic system essentials, displays, input output devices, power systems, and all of the types of displays. So, first, we are going to study about the displays. So as we know that in the uh, in the history, we uh, the pilots and the cockpit use many buttons, and now we use displays rather than the buttons and the manual uh, proceedings. So the aircraft cockpit displays are used in electronic flight instrument system as flight deck instrument display system that show flight data electronically. Flight displays are specialized user interface that present aircraft flight data. The data which are present are airspeed, altitude, heading, etc. to the pilot and also the navigation, weather radars, and the uh, collision avoids data as well. Now we move on to the types of displays. So the first type of display is the attitude. Attitude display, which tells the pitch and roll status of the aircraft. As you can see here in the image, this is the uh, attitude display. Here the different angle tells the angle uh, at which the aircraft is tilted during the roll and the pitch. Uh, this display helps the pilot to navigate the pitch and roll status by looking at the display. The attitude indicator form we know as the gyro horizon and artificial horizon. Uh, the next one is the altitude. Uh, uh, it tells the aircraft distance above the uh, sea level. In the image, you can see the arrows which are used for uh, pointing the distance above the sea level. It, it informs the pilot regarding the height of the aircraft. The attitude indicator formally known as the gyro horizon or the artificial horizon. It is a flight instrument that informs the pilot of the aircraft orientation above the Earth's horizon. Next is the airspeed indicator. So it automatically tells the speed of the aircraft in knots. In the image below, we can see the white portion uh, tells the flaps down stall speed. The green portion tells the bottom of the uh, flap stall speed, and the yellow portion tells the cruise speed of the aircraft. And one knot is equal to 1.852 kilometers per hour. Next, we move on to the vertical speed indicator. It tells the rate of aircraft uh, altitude change. A vertical speed indicator, also known as the rate of flying or descent indicator, is an instrument which indicates the rate of flying or descent of the aircraft. Next, we move on to the heading, magnetic heading of the aircraft. Uh, it tells the uh, heading of the aircraft whether it is north, south, east, or west. Next uh, are the input output devices. So the basic the work of the input output device is that it was the interface on the physical airplane to the other applications. The input output application receives data from the shared memory of the common data network, processes the data, and then makes it available for various applications in the uh, aircraft. Uh, the last one, we move on to the power system of the aircraft. The majority of the aircraft power that are using 14 or 28 for DC uh, systems. Uh, APU is one of the major power source that is uh, in the aircraft, which is used for the uh, power systems. And it works on four, 400 uh, uh, knots and 15, uh, one, 15 volts, AC depending upon the aircraft generators and alternators used to produce electricity. And uh, uh, it, uh, the ram air turbine also is used in the aircraft for the uh, generating output that is normally around 115 to 120 volts or 14 volt DC. So yeah, that's it from my side. Thank you.